All right, it's the top of the hour. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome everyone to the GitLab functional group update for UX. Uh, the deck is linked in the calendar invite, uh, and here's the agenda today. We have a lot to cover, so I'm just going to keep rolling through. I don't want to keep you here too long. So a quick overview of the UX department. I know that we have a lot of uh, new team members joining on a daily basis. Um, so this is a quick view of the UX uh, department. Each UX designer is dedicated to a specific stage of the product lifecycle, and they work directly with PMs uh, and engineers to understand the roadmap and the direction of that area. Um, to see where each designer works, you can check the team page. I've linked to those in the top of the slide. We also have two dedicated UX researchers, and they're dedicated to specific stages of the product lifecycle as well. Sarah O'Donnell covers ops products, and Catherine Akpara covers research for dev products. Uh, just as with UX designers, the goal here is to work alongside PMs uh, and engineers to anticipate and drive the direction of the product through UX research. I wanted to say special farewell to Hazel Yang. Uh, you can see Hazel's influence throughout GitLab, especially in our beautiful illustrations and icons. Um, she'll be greatly missed, um, and you can still chat with Hazel uh, in the GitLab alumni channel or catch her on Twitter. So you may have noticed the UX team is growing uh, quite a bit, as, as with the rest of GitLab, uh, and the UX department is undergoing a reorganization soon. So the current structure looks like this, uh, if you want to get out your magnifying glass, or you could click on the link. Um, right now we have a DevOps split, and research remains on its own, but each of the researchers specialize in a particular area. So we've Filled our open positions for release and, ver release and verify, and our new team member is going to start, uh, I believe, on November 11th. So we'll announce details of that soon. And we previously filled our monitor team opening, but with Hazel's departure, we have a need to backfill. So we currently have these two vacancies, uh, one for the monitor team and one for secure. So we love referrals. If you know of a UX designer we should talk to, please encourage them to apply. Feel free to ping me directly and ask for more details if you need them. So with our growth, oh, did, did someone want to ask something? Sorry, I thought I heard something. All right, moving on. <laughs> with the growth of our team, uh, we have put together a UX uh, vision you can click on the link here to take a look at it. Um, as we grow and move into dedicated teams, we need to maintain a shared vision for the user experience at GitLab. We need to remain uh, connected, and to do so, we have to make sure that we, we all have the same goals. So this vision sets the tone and direction for all of our efforts, and it keeps the department focused on our ideals even as we work on different stages and aspects of GitLab. Uh, I would think of it as a guiding set of principles. Uh, every UX department will have its mission statement that drives the vision. Google, Airbnb, they all have their flavor of, of a UX strategy and vision. This strategy and vision should always reflect the values of the company, but have actionable ways they are, actually, they are implemented in the experience. So this actually goes deeper into things like workflow, um, stable counterparts, and um, the fact that everyone can contribute. So I'd love uh, for people to take a look at, at this vision in this document and, and leave your feedback for us. So a quick recap of Q3 um, as we, we run straight into Q4. Uh, we added headcount in the middle of the quarter and said farewell to Hazel, which stretched us a bit, trying to get in that third hire uh, and a backfill. Um, so we only reached 66% of our goal on this OKR. The good news is that our pipeline is quite strong and we have many good candidates in line. We reached 100% on our security dashboard OKR. It was a real stretch for the team. Um, I don't want you to think that because it was 100%, it was easy. <laughs> we had to push really hard to get there. And I wanted to put a special thanks here to PMM Cindy Blake for assisting with the comp analysis and to Andy Volpe, who came in brand new to the secure team and faced this challenge head on. And once again, this was uh, another stretch uh, for the team, this OKR, getting these uh, components put together 
uh, to ensure that moving forward, the CSS and component system that Frontend is building has the proper standards. Uh, each UX designer contributed to making this happen on top of their individual group responsibilities. We only miss documenting one component and that's currently in progress. All right, Q4. So we have a, a lot of cool things coming up. Uh, the first Q4 OKR is create a seamless cluster experience. Identify three additional ways users can create and manage their clusters, and we want to draft a proposal for an MVC. Um, this will fall under the configure team. So UX, in addition to the configure team, are well on their way towards this. Uh, just wrapping up product discovery phase, phase for the group level clusters. Um, implementation will be happening in 11.5 and we'll be working on how the experience for group level customer clusters, excuse me, will transfer to instance level clusters in 11.5. That's a lot of clusters. <laughs> and you can read these notes uh, also in the speaker notes. There's links uh, to each of these. So this is one I'm particularly excited about. Um, we actually have already completed a competitive analysis for version control tools for designers uh, in GitLab. We want to identify ways that GitLab can leverage open source uh, our own tools to assist designers. So enterprise designers work on a variety of platforms. The market has exploded over the past decade with the majority of designers moving from using desktop software to cloud-based platforms. Uh, this move is largely based around the need for collaboration between designers and other departments. GitLab is the single first application built from the ground up for all stages of the DevOps lifecycle for product, development, QA, security, and operations. Uh, teams work concurrently on the same project. A significant missing piece of this lifecycle is UX design. So we've completed a competitor analysis and have identified an MVC. Uh, you can click the links here and take a look. Um, and huge thanks to G2 and Andreas for assisting uh, putting together this comp analysis. Sorry, there's good questions coming in. I'll get to the questions here in just a moment. <laughs> um, huge thanks to G2 and Andreas. They really worked hard to get this comp analysis in very quickly. We want to move fast on this one. And lastly, uh, the UX department is cross collaborating with the front end department to build out maintainable, scalable CSS components. So we'll enable engineers to utilize reusable components and that would have a significant impact on our speed of development and the consistency across GitLab. So in 11.5, Annabelle and Tori are actively implementing CSS and additional UXers will be assisting over the next few months. Okay, so questions. And it looks like there were some questions coming through. So I'm gonna to jump to the chat. Feel free to jump in and ask questions as well. Um, it looks like Seth asked, right now, Amelia is the UX designer focused on monitor. Would this change with hiring Hazel's backfill? No, this would not change. So this would be another UX designer to work alongside Amelia. And the reasoning there is, is the workload that we anticipate. Um, part of adding headcount to UX department was the, the goals that we have for Q4 and into 2019. So we took that into account when deciding where to add UX designers. Uh, Absolutely said, I'd love to make this into a blog post. That's an excellent point. Um, so I'll go ahead and make sure that uh, I work with marketing on that. I think that this would, it, it is a huge thing I'm really excited about. Um, uh, let's see, why is you're already signed in in red? Um, I'll, have, I'll take a look at that offline. I'm not sure what that is, Sid, unless you wanna speak up. Is it something important that I should address right now? No, it's absolutely not important. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and let's see. One, one note about the blog post. Um, two things, like if you have a document that you want to have public and allow people at GitLab to edit, you can use like file publish from the, from the Google Docs menu and put that URL in the okay. document so external people can access okay. it. And you don't have to work with marketing to publish something. You can just publish something. Um, okay. It used to be this understanding and I'm explaining this, not especially to you, but to the whole company that like the content team writes your blog post. They don't, they write their own blog post. If you want to do a blog post, just write a blog post. Very much encouraged. Okay. All right. I am getting on that 
Perfect. Are there any more questions? Any more ideas? I'd love for everyone to chime in on, the, on this. I think that uh, you know, the more people we can get thinking about this, uh, the better off we'll be. And I just also wanted to say to everyone that I will be on vacation next week. I'm going to be hiking in Moab. Uh, I will be completely unavailable. Uh, I, I don't think I'll get any reception out there in the middle of uh, Arches National Park. So um, while I'm away, Tori will be the point person for all UX questions or concerns. Uh, so make sure that you reach out to Tori. And I'll also add that in our UX channel and, and I'll add it to the company call so everybody is aware. Uh, pet peeve of things that we should redesign, ship that we haven't been able to schedule yet. Oh my goodness, Yob, that's a loaded question. How are you going to ask me that? Um, <laughs> um, I think that all of the work that we did on, on Auto DevOps, um, we did a lot of research in Q1 and Q2, and now we're working on clusters here. I think there was a lot of really good insights that came out of our UX research that we um, could focus on and push out there. They're, they're ready to go. They have data to back them up. And it's just been a struggle with everything that we're working on in that area and that space to get them a uh, priority. Uh, so not one thing comes to mind, but that whole uh, area. Uh, you want me to, I can, I can definitely, you want me, you know what I'll do afterwards? I'll find it and I'll link it in the product channel. How's that? So nobody has to watch me searching for it right now. <laughs> Unless you want to, so. might be entertaining. Okay, perfect. I'll put that in the product channel. All right. Well, think, if there's no more questions. I think Sarah, I, I put a few things on here. I think the bigger theme is we're doing awesome in this like super deep functionality, like the security dashboard for the for the CISO. Like awesome. I love the designs. I think what's what's really important is also like first impressions, like paths that mm -hmm. everybody hits uh, when they when they start using GitLab that those are like those are perfect um, so I'm, okay. we're not striving for perfection really deep in the product but an initial path is like oh I have to leave my email twice even though the next step is registering I'm, I'm not sure maybe that's the best practice but I think it's an uh, it's a relic from our past when we didn't confirm email initially yeah. um, so, so stuff yeah. like that like we should make sure that we're, we don't forget our front doors. Like we're building out room after room after room in the company. Um, yes. Let's make sure that the, the facade, or well, facade may be a bit of a load of words, but, but that, uh, that the entrance also looks great. And, and I'm not Absolutely. sure we could, because we're splitting up all the teams and we're saying, hey, you're, you're, doing, you're doing monitoring, you're doing security, et cetera. Like we, we, it's like, there's, is, are there people, who's, who's paying attention to like the front door? Is, is, there, is that everyone's responsibility? Is it your responsibility? Who, 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 who watches that, the, the most popular flows? Yeah, and I think that's a really good question. That's something that uh, Mark and I have talked about in depth, and that's a concern. Um, we are seeing large gains in, in productivity and in focus from UX designers being embedded in teams, but you're absolutely correct. There's now there's almost, we, we don't want to create silos where we're not seeing how people transition from one area to the next. Um, and I think that's something we could address in a couple of ways. Um, one, obviously, I should have my eye on that, and that should be something that we're discussing between ourselves at our UX weekly call, surfacing the areas we're working on, looking for areas of overlap and opportunity. Um, but I think at a higher level, that, that almost needs uh, a dedicated uh, person or a dedicated team. Um, yeah, so that's maybe, something I'll add to my... Maybe oh, it's, uh, now that I, that I say it, my concern, which I've had for a time now that I say it out loud, we actually have the managed team, which is responsible for like user sign in and log on and things like that. So maybe the UX, special, uh, the UX specialist focused on uh, managed stage should be, uh, should be have an eye on this. I like that. I so that's uh, a great idea. Yeah, so Absolutely. to sit Sid's point about the security dashboards um, for CISOs, I, I have experience with uh, what draws people in at the front door. And, you know, I've worked on a lot of security products in the past as well. So Sarah, let's uh, collaborate and I will give you my feedback on the kind of front door facade kind of things that draw CISOs in and all that. That's fantastic. Uh, excellent. Kathy, I'll add that to our next one-on-one. 
I think that's great. And, and I, I agree with you, Said I think managed stage is, is the perfect area for that. Um, I'll, I'll get with the, the team there and, and start talking about how we can do that. Um, Chris recently put together a really good user flow um, on his team that was, was really, really helpful to see the overall flow. Um, I know that uh, Jeremy was, was very excited about it. And that's something I think we can use in other areas to start surfacing this, um, but especially in the managed area. That sounds cool. If someone has it, then feel free to post it in the Zoom chat. There's a, Pedro has a, has a question, I think, in the chat. Sure. Pedro, I'm looking for you, Pedro. Pedro, can you just speak up? I can't quite find it. Yeah, it's, it's the last one, but I can speak up. So for the competitive oh, analysis, have we looked at UX pin? Um, mm -hmm. Because I don't see it listed, so maybe we, we had a reason for not including it. Uh, I don't sure if there was like a, a cutoff line for certain tools or just curious. Um, I don't know that we looked at it and specifically cut it out, but if you think it's relevant, add it in. Absolutely. Um, this is a work in progress. Um, we just wanted to get it out there as fast as possible for things like this so that um, we could have people surface maybe areas we missed or other opportunities that we just didn't see yet. Awesome. Yeah, I will suggest it. Thank you. Yeah, fantastic. So, so uh, I want to say that I find okay. that this... Uh, this was a great FGU, great materials, and, and hopefully you're, uh, some people are noticing that I'm trying to steer up as much conversation as possible. I'm actually thinking about renaming the functional group updates to group conversations uh, because uh, like um, we, we don't want to end with a presentation and then no questions. So uh, feel free everyone yeah. to, to chime in and, and bring up small stuff, big stuff. It's fair game. Yeah, I think that's great. Thank you. It's, it's really been good and uh, some, some great things surface. I'll, I'll do a lot of follow-up after this. Chris, if you're on the, on the call, can you link to the user flow that you did, the user journeys? Not sure if he's on. If not, I will definitely share it in the general um, and, and make sure that everyone can see it. Ah, there it is. Perfect. So it's the billing journey map flow. I think doing more flows like this across the application uh, or will, will be so helpful for us to see the, the different areas and make sure that we're seeing everything. Cool. Sarah, I have right. a comment on, hi Sarah, I have a comment unrelated to oh. the past 10 minutes. Um, and I like to talk in that type, so I'm gonna interrupt. Uh, I, I appreciated how you uh, mentioned uh, Hazel departing earlier in the FGU. And I know there's been a lot of talk um, in various places at GitLab about uh, transparency and uh, termination voluntary or involuntary. So I, I, if you know this is a thing to talk about uh, departing folks and FGUs, I think it's a great place because you can you know show an awesome slide as you did and recognize their work. I, I'd encourage other FGU presenters to do the same. So not a question, just. Oh, thank you, Victor. Yeah, that was, I had to tear my eye putting that, that slide in, I gotta be honest, but, uh, but it was nice to be able to, to, to see her and put it up there and share that with everyone. Um, so thank you, I appreciate that. Fantastic. All right, well, if those are, if there's no more questions, I'm gonna go ahead and let everyone go. Thank you so much for attending. And if you have anything further, please reach out, I'm always available. Awesome, thank you, bye-bye. <laughs>